As you already know, we were blindsided today with the news that 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy is in the concussion protocol. This was a surprise to everyone because, as we know, Brock Purdy finished the whole game against the Vikings. So it, we didn't think that anyone got out of there with a concussion. We saw Brock Purdy speak to the media afterwards. There was no indication that there was any injuries. He didn't show up on the injury report after the game. But it did come to our attention from Kyle Shanahan that Brock Purdy started to feel concussion symptoms on the flight home from Minnesota back to the Bay Area. So that's how the San Francisco 49ers were kind of clued into it. But it's not all doom and gloom yet. There is still a chance that Brock Purdy can clear the concussion protocol and be ready to go against the Bengals. Hear directly from Kyle Shanahan right here on that same notion. When did that happen with Brock? Um, in the game. Oh, he started getting symptoms on the plane. Uh, so we found, found that out when I, we landed. We were all pretty asleep, but then he got all checked up today and now he's, or yesterday, and now he's in the protocol. Uh, does he have enough time to clear protocol in order to be available for the game on Sunday? Oh, yeah, he does have enough time. Just has got to go through the process. You watch the film. Where do you think he heard it was um, quarterback sneaks? Maybe uh, possibly. Uh, we're not. We don't know for sure because um, he didn't start getting until the plane. So I don't know exactly, but I'd probably guess that. Can you tell at all? I guess when you're coaching on the sidelines, relaying in all the other, you kind of sense anything like that. I know that you have an independent neurologist that's supposed to be looking for that, but as a coach, do you? Um, no. I mean, because I, I mean, I don't get to talk to him when I'm calling plays in. You know, but he on the sidelines, a couple of those series, I mean, nothing with grease hearing it. And I know after the game, he talked to you guys and uh, Corey. So um, it's kind of a surprise when I woke up on the plane. Is there anything on film you saw that would suggest he wasn't himself in retrospect? Um, not really. To me, that's optimism. The fact that Kyle Shanahan says there's still a chance that he can make his way through the protocol and be able to play in this game in a short week against the Bengals is at least a good sign. It's He hasn't been ruled out or any of that stuff, and I can guarantee you Kyle Shanahan is going to want to get Brock Purdy back out on that field against the Bengals if he can. So... We are crossing our fingers that Brock Purdy will be able to pass the concussion protocol and be ready to go. Brock doesn't necessarily need to practice. Obviously, it always helps to help prepare for an upcoming game. But if you think about it from a year ago's perspective, when Brock Purdy got thrown into the fire against the Dolphins. We saw what he was able to do, get that W, and then he had his first start the following week against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Well, on like the second or third drive, he broke his rib, and he ended up playing that entire game. But after that, it was a short week for Brock to be able to play on Thursday Night Football against the Seattle Seahawks. Brock did not practice at all that week uh, leading up until that game. And even at that game, he had to get injections during the pregame warmup to be able to play. So he got injected in his rib uh, with a painkiller uh, because he could not throw 10 beyond 10 to 15 yards in pregame. So Brock is a tough son of a gun. And so we know that a pain threshold issue isn't going to stop him. Obviously, concussions are serious and they are treated as such. The hope is, is that he clears the protocol and will be ready to go, uh, even if he can't practice throughout this week. So it's going to be very interesting to see how the San Francisco 49ers manage this. Um, if they do truly hope and intend to play Brock, or are they going to turn to Sam Darnold, who hasn't started since last year with the Carolina Panthers, where he finished out the season for the team? So it's going to be very interesting to see what ultimately comes of this entire scenario, uh, because it was really unfortunate that we have now been able to identify and pinpoint where Brock Purdy uh, seemingly got his concussion and what happened after the concussion. The first throw after he got concussed was an interception. 
Uh, and then he had a total of five more passes after that. And we know what the last one was. It was an interception as well. So just hope that Brock Purdy can come back because before that he was on fire. He was he was darting up the Vikings defense. So he was playing really, really well. The hope is we get him back, get him back in the lineup against the, the Bengals who are a good team and a quality team. And I would just feel much more confident trying to get that W to go to six and two into the bye versus a zero and three skid. That would not be fun uh, heading into a, a bye week. That's supposed to be uh, something where the team can rest and relax and rejuvenate. If they go 0-3 into the bye, I guarantee you there's not going to be a lot of rest. There's not going to be a lot of rejuvenation. There's going to be a lot of why are we here. So Brock Purdy is going to give the 49ers their best chance to win. So I hope that Brock Purdy can be back. But we'll see. What do you think the 49ers should do? Should they rest Brock Purdy and just go with Sam Darnold against the Bengals? Or if Brock can go, even with maybe not even practicing all week. You put him out there or go with Sam. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.